In this video lecture, we will look upon the great poets. Who were they and why they used to write such type of poetry? Well, the word graveyard itself reflects something gloomy, unfortunate, related to melancholy and sadness. The poems published under this form is known as the Graveyard School of Poetry, which is also known as Churchyard School. It is a collection of poems of early to mid 18th century written by British poets. Many of the poems are elegies that also means lament for the dead. As far as the net examination is concerned, one should not miss the four important works of graveyard poets. Thomas Gray's Elegy written in Country Churchyard. It may have been written on the death of Gray's friend Richard West in 1742. Thomas Parnell's Night Peace on Death. It was posthumously published by Alexander Pope in 1722. On this poem of Thomas Parnell's, Oliver Goldsmith said, The night piece on death deserves every praise, and I should suppose with very little amendment might be made to surpass all those night pieces and churchyard scenes that have since appeared. Edward Young is mostly known for his single work, which is Night Thoughts, even though he has written many works. The poem was a success for Young and was translated in several uh, different languages and made him famous abroad. William Blake illustrated this work. The title of this work was The Complaint and the Consolation or Night Thoughts by Edward Young. It is illustrated in four volumes. Robert Blair's The Grave Robert Blair was a Scottish poet. The work is major for the Evangelical Revival. The Evangelical Revival was nothing but a series of religious movements in Scotland. This work is also illustrated by William Blake. An important point to keep in mind that Thomas Gray is also a part of Transition Poet. A whole video lecture can be dedicated on transitional poets, therefore we will not go in detail. For time being, you must remember that these were 18th century poets. These poets were not much worried about rules and conventions. They believed in individual poetic inspiration. Lastly, graveyard poets were the precursor for the Gothic genre. Some of the important work in Gothic genre that you must go through while preparing for your net examination are the Castle of Otranto by Horace Walpole, Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. That's enough in today's video. If you find the lecture informative, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thank you.